Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Takshasila. In this new video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under topic product of vectors. So the problem is find the area of the parallelogram whose diagonals are represented by 3i bar plus j bar minus 2k bar and i bar minus 3j bar plus 4k bar. So what they have given in the problem? In this problem, they have given two diagonals that is represented by d1 bar and d2 bar. And then you need to find the area of the parallelogram using the formula of that is modulus of half of, of into modulus of d1 bar cross d2 bar. That means you need to find the vector product between d1 bar and d2 bar. And after that, you need to apply the formula to get the final solution. So first, the step number one, what they are given in the problem? They are given two diagonal, two diagonal vectors are given that is represented by d1 bar and d2 bar. So first vector will write as d1 bar. So given d1 bar equal to 3i bar plus j bar minus 2k bar. And the next thing, second vector that is denoted by d2 bar, you can write this as i bar minus 3j bar plus 4k bar. So what you need to find? You need to find the area of the parallelogram. So we know that so we'll write the formula here. So area of parallelogram is area of parallelogram is of into modulus of d1 bar cross d2 bar. So for this, first we'll find the d1 bar cross d2 bar. So d1 bar cross d2 bar. So this is our determinant form. So first row should be i bar, j bar, k bar. And the second row, you have to write the d1 bar elements. That is first, first one, that is coefficient is, i bar coefficient is 3 here, j bar coefficient is 1, k bar coefficient is minus 2. And then third row should be d2 bar elements. That is i bar coefficient is 1, j bar coefficient is minus 3, k bar coefficient is 4. So plus, minus, plus. So solve this determinant. You can write this as i bar. So 1, minus 3, minus 2, 4. Then minus j bar 3 1 1 minus 3 plus k bar that is 3 1 so here you have to write j bar is this one minus 2 and this should be 4 so here k bar is 3 1 and here 1 minus 3 so this will be d1 bar cross d2 bar equal to now simplify this i bar into a cross multiply 1 4 jar is 1 4 and here 3 2 jar is 6 minus to minus plus one more minus will be there so that is minus 6 so minus j bar into now 3 4 jar is 12 then 1 2 jar is 2 minus 2 so minus another minus will be there so plus 2 then plus k bar that is 3 into minus 3, that is minus 9. Then minus 1. So this is equal to i bar into minus 2, minus j bar. Now 12 plus 2, that is 14. Plus k bar into minus 10. So we get d1 bar, d1 bar cross d2 bar is minus 2i bar, minus 14j bar, minus 10k bar. So this is d1 bar cross t2 bar. So next thing you need to find the magnitude of this that is modulus of d1 bar cross d2 bar that is square root of i bar coefficient is minus 2 square plus j bar coefficient is minus 14 square plus this will be minus 10 whole square. So square root now minus 2 square is 4 then 14 square is 176. 14 fourths of so 196 here plus n square is 100 so that is you will get 296 plus 4 that is 300 so modulus of d1 bar cross d2 bar is 300 so next thing we need to apply this formula area of parallelogram that is area of parallelogram equal to half into root 300 since it is area it should represent it by square units 
So this is how we will find the area of parallelogram when two diagonals are given. Now if you want to solve more problems of this kind, I have given a link in the description. Please click on that link. And this video is mostly useful for polytechnic and engineering students. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Yanam Takshasila for further updates. Thank you for watching my video.